This beautiful flowy daisy dress has a gorgeous off-the-shoulder neckline and romantic balloon sleeves. The A-line silhouette is adorned with a charming ruffle at the bottom, adding some fullness to this elegant and feminine dress. Let's sew it! The materials you will need for this beautiful daisy dress are 2-3 yards of lightweight fabric, 2 yards of elastic, matching thread, weights or pins, and scissors. Fold your fabric according to instructions in the PDF. Place your pattern on the fabric. The arrow on the pattern shows the direction of the grain line, which should be parallel to the salvage edge of your fabric. You can use weights or pins to secure your fabric, and you can also trace your pattern before cutting. Cut your belt, ruffles, sleeves, and front and back pieces on fold. Place front and back right sides together, pin the side seams, and sew. Sew the side seams of the sleeves and serge. Sew ruffles side seams together, creating one big loop. Fold the belt right sides together and start sewing from the center to the end. Then, leave a 2 inch hole for turning it inside out and sew from the middle to the other side. Turn inside out, press and hand sew the hole. Serge all the seams. Press all the seams as well as the belt. Pin the side seams of the bodice and the side seams of the sleeves together, matching the edges. Sew and serge. Gather your ruffle. One way to do this is to set your stitch settings to the widest option and while you sew, push the fabric under the machine foot little by little. This will form small gathers or folds. Mark the center front and the center back of the bodice. Also mark the center of the ruffle. Then, pin your ruffle right sides together at the side seams, center back, and center front. Evenly distribute the ruffle and pin between the key points. If there is a need, you can gather some more by pulling one of the threads. Sew the ruffle to the bodice and serge. I will make a double folded hem. Fold an eighth of an inch in towards the wrong side twice and sew. Press the armhole seams and the ruffle seams. The next step is to mark half of an inch of seam allowance at the top edge of the dress and press all around. Then, we need to mark the width of our elastic. If your elastic is one inch, or one and a half inches plus room for ruffle at the top, mark one inch from the folded edge and press all around. Next, we need to sew our casing. Sew at the edge of the folded casing all around, leaving an opening of about two inches. For this dress, I used an elastic that's half an inch wide. 
So I made one more seam half an inch from the folded edge. Sew all around and stitch over the beginning of the seam for about 5 to 6 inches so that you don't have to do a back stitch. It's easier to sew on the right side of the dress. Now it's time to insert our elastic. I used a safety pin to insert the elastic. To find the comfortable length of your elastic, just place it over your shoulders and measure the length that you need. Add 1 inch for seam allowance. Overlap the ends of the elastic about half an inch and sew from both sides to secure the ends. Sew the opening closed. Stretch the elastic to evenly distribute the gathers. You can secure your elastic at the sleeve seam so that the elastic won't twist inside. Do the same to the sleeves. Since I don't want the ruffles on the edge of the sleeves, I'll make a casing equal to the width of my elastic, plus an eighth of an inch for room. Fold and sew. Insert the elastic and sew up the opening. And our lovely daisy dress is complete.